On Monday, January 10th, Lieutenant Governor Molly Gray paid a visit to Manchester, reconnecting with a town she came to know years before when she attended the nearby Stratton Mountain School and to spread the word about her candidacy for the U.S. Congress. With U.S. Senator Patrick Leahy retiring after nearly 50 years in office and Congressman Peter Welsh announcing his interest in running to fill that vacancy, Lieutenant Governor Gray, first elected to that post in 2020, has thrown her hat into the ring for the Democratic Party's nomination to succeed Peter Welsh in Vermont's lone congressional seat. She began the day by touring the campus at Burn Burton Academy, where she met up with students in a couple of classes and talked about her background in Vermont and politics. I went to UVM and my teacher there, uh, Frank Bryan, who's a professor, he said, uh, Newberry, the town I grew up in, is a town that time forgot. And that's probably about right. not a lot of people, a lot of farms. I grew up on a, a vegetable and dairy farm. Any farm? farm? I uh, went to school here in Vermont from um, like preschool, a playgroup, all the way through Vermont Law School. I'm a lawyer by training, but really, really proud of my Vermont education. Uh, I went to Oxbow High School before ski racing for the Stratton Mountain School. And I actually really fell in love with Manchester. I remember coming off the mountain when we just needed to like get away from classes for a bit and getting food in town or getting, you know, different supplies. Um, I ski raced for the University of Vermont and then at 22 um, worked for our congressman, our now congressman Peter Welch and helped get him elected. And I ended up moving to Washington. I had never been to DC before. And I decided to run for office in 2019. I announced my candidacy in the beginning. 2020 and, and decided to run because of some really unique things about Vermont. Um, we're one of the oldest states in the nation. Not only are we an old state because we're uh, you know, one of the earlier states, but our population is actually um, aging pretty quickly. So we see a lot of Vermonters leaving the workforce and then not enough um, next generation um, workers staying in Vermont or entering the workforce our population shrinks, our workforce shrinks, and ultimately that has an impact on uh, the ability of us all to access health care or to even build homes. We just don't have people to do the jobs that we need for our state to really We had a chance to discuss her campaign with her later that morning while at Burn Burton. I think it's such an important moment for the next generation across the state, but probably the next generation of leaders across our nation. And when opportunities to serve present themselves, we have to ask ourselves whether we step back or stay put um, or step forward. And I took a lot of time after understanding that Senator Lee was gonna retire, that our Congressman Peter Welch was gonna run for the US uh, Senate uh, to figure out whether I was the right person, whether it was the right time and um, whether I was running for the right reasons. And ultimately, I came to the conclusion that it was the right time, and I am the right person, and I am running for the right reasons. We are at a crossroads in our democracy where we need next generation leaders to participate, to engage. That's part of the reason I'm here today at Burr Burton Academy, Um, just hearing from young people who we need uh, to step up at all levels uh, to participate. and that's why that's why I'm running. I believe that we can save our democracy by getting more people excited about stepping forward. And what are some of the primary issues you see as paramount that you're going to be stressing and emphasizing in your campaign? Uh, you talked a little bit about workforce development there in one of the classes and demographics around the state. I'm sure there are a few others, but uh, what's on the short list? Vermont's challenges won't be solved by our state alone. We know that Senator Leahy has always been a champion and fighting for that small state minimum, which allows Vermont to get a piece of the federal pie, even though we're small, even though we're rural, that leadership is so important. We know we have an aging population. We have a shrinking workforce. We see more lights off than lights on in communities across the state, from Powell to Newport and everywhere in between. And while we have an unprecedented amount of funding coming to the state, we need long-term sustained focus on certain areas. For me, that's reversing our uh, workforce uh, crisis, trying to invest in access to higher education, to training. Um, It's investing in childcare, which is going to have to happen partially through a, a federal plan 
uh, bringing paid family and medical leave not only to our small rural state where we have a lot of unpaid caregivers, but also to states similarly situated across uh, the country. And then addressing a housing crisis, which we are seeing that not only in Manchester and in Burlington and in Vermont, but we're seeing it in rural states across our country. We need leaders in Washington, like Senator Leahy, like Senator Sanders, like Congressman Welch, who are going to be laser focused on addressing the needs of our small rural state. And that's why I'm running. You know, it's, it's about um, saving and helping to protect our fragile democracy, but it's also fighting for every corner of Vermont and those specific needs that are pretty unique to our uh, aging state with our demographic crisis. After that, Lieutenant Governor Gray made a series of stops around Manchester, which included visits to Hildeen, the Southern Vermont Arts Center, the Orvis Flagship Store, and the Manchester Community Library. We're planning to conduct a longer, in-depth conversation soon with Lieutenant Governor Gray to dive deeper into the issues central to her candidacy. Meanwhile, for the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.